what's good everybody what's good all right here we're back with another video y'all and before we get into the vid i want everybody to go and add my instagram and my twitch account i'm gonna put them up right here on the screen i'm really active on twitch that much right now but i will be getting active soon and on instagram if y'all just want to hit me up on there you know and i also want y'all to go and add today's sponsor hillside exotics y'all i'm gonna put them up right here on the screen his three instagram accounts as well as his main account in the description but yeah go add our boy y'all i don't want to say too much on here just go scope him out y'all today's video is going to be something that i haven't seen anybody try or like anybody like do my girl actually discovered this we are going to be trying to make our own edibles y'all yes thc edible let me give y'all a little bit of background of how my girl like told me this so i had recently just got back from work i work at a mcdonald's nearby she was like hella faded i was like dude or uh what's going on or what she said you would never have guessed but i seen a comment somewhere that says you can do this and it works she was like getting lit throughout the day and it was crazy she had found out is that you can get the bottom resin of your carta y'all see this like sticky shit at the bottom y'all can see there's a bunch in there what she did is went to a store got a cheesecake and mixed in this resin with the cheesecake and she ate it and it turned and made it into a very potent edible because if y'all don't know what this is it's literally just left over like wax from the rig dabs that you to be taking we don't have a cheesecake but we do have some bread and some peanut butter and jelly i was just gonna put you know the oh the, the resin onto the bread and like a and like a ham sandwich because i was gonna eat right now anyway but I'm pretty sure it'll be better if I put it in with something sweet. You know what I mean? Our two slices of bread right here. Let's... I think what we're gonna do... Ah. Uh, okay. Because well, I don't want to get, like, the peanut butter. Like, I don't want to put the spoon in the resin and then in the peanut butter. So then everybody's gonna get lit. I'm going to get my little spoon. And we are going to... First of all, unclog this because it gets me hella pissed when I can't take dabs. It's all clogged. It's got some resin on there. And there's a bunch in here. So let's take a fat amount from right here, y'all. This is where I want to get the most of the resin. Oh, that shit looks nasty, bro. That shit looks disgusting. Peep that out, y'all. We're going to try to get a little bit more. But first, before we try to get more, we are going to put this on our bread. So y'all can see I'm not capping. I'm going to try to edit this video as least as possible. So y'all can like know that I'm not capping. Let's see. Let's put this on. Hopefully it's just like syrup, bro. Oh, it's all the bread's all sticking to the wax, to the spoon. I wasn't planning on dabbing it today. Oh shit, I spilled hella water. I wasn't planning on dabbing it today, so I guess that's alright. And the resin only only oh shit. The resin only be forming if you don't clean out your rig like every four hits. Like I don't clean out my rig ever until it's like this, like all disgusting. Oh if you're nasty like me, at least you have some edible wax in here shit i wonder how much this is bro i don't think this is a gram but this will basically be like ingesting like imagine you dab this much wax bro mm, looks like some caramel on there yes uh oh uh, shoot oh yeah we're gonna try to get one more scoop y'all one more scoop hey look it's all covered with bread let me see let me see oh yes all right i'm gonna need to clean out this carta after though because it is full of bread now so let us let's spread this on here looks like you could use more right there 
Yeah, okay, I think that is enough for now. Now let's get our other bread. Just take the rest off that spoon. Y'all see we got a little bit right there. But now let's put some peanut butter and some jelly on this bitch. Hopefully it gets a stone. My girl was very stoned from doing this with the cheesecake, bro. Put this on here. Imagine taking a dab like this size. This is honestly how some fire like hash rosin be looking like, like peanut butter. Like when I try to tell some of my homies about like the difference of like rosin and like distillate and like actual and like live resin and shit, I tell them the stuff that looks like peanut butter or like white peanut butter is the expensive shit. That's the hash rosin, y'all. Spread that on there. Damn. I'm wondering if it's gonna taste, bro. My girl said that it wouldn't taste at all. So I'm hoping that it would not taste like anything. You know what I mean? Check out this jelly. Let me know in the comments if y'all put the same uh, spoon with the peanut butter and the jelly. Because a lot of people seem to get triggered by that. I don't really get triggered because I'm not tripping. Look, y'all see the wax right here on top? We are putting the jelly on it like this. I'm going to try to spread it over the wax y'all oh shit y'all can see it still y'all right here this is the wax this is the jelly holy shit my my how do you say it my spoon was all getting stuck to it i think this is gonna be nasty y'all. i don't think this is a good idea but that's why we're doing this bit i wanted to see if it was like cool way to make edibles y'all Y'all know edibles hit different than like just smoking a J or a blunt, bro. You get a whole ass body high from that. And it takes a while to kick in, but you know, when you get like stone, like how edibles gets you, then I don't have a problem waiting. We're going to put more peanut butter on this side too, y'all. Just because I, if there's a chance that it tastes like nasty, I don't want to taste that shit. That looks like a good amount. This looks like a good amount. Let's close this bitch up, bro. All right, y'all. Here's our PB&J assembled. Gonna take the first, first bite. Wish me luck. Hopefully, I don't get too stoned. I mean, it wasn't that much material used. But I thought still, like, if I were to dab that much wax, I'd be hella lit, bro. And instead of like dabbing it one by one, you're gonna your whole body's gonna be taking it like at one time. So it should get me more faded, even if I were to take those dabs, you know what I mean? All right, first bite in y'all, cheers. But now it's tasting like a normal PB&J. But I don't think I've bitten into the wax, you know? And also, this is my first time eating anything today, so it's either going to get me really stoned because it's going to hit the bottom of my stomach quick, or it isn't going to get me stoned, you know? Okay, I think I tasted it in that one. It's just my head. I actually don't taste anything, bro. It just tastes like peanut butter. Like a peanut butter sandwich, you know? That shit is cool, though. If you smell it, it definitely smells like wax, bro. If you take a sniff of the sandwich, it definitely be smelling like wax, dude. Does it taste like wax? No, it don't. Okay, so I'm getting a taste of something, bro. Okay, yeah, I definitely tasted it that time. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I coated it. Coated my mouth, y'all. Yeah. yeah, I taste it, I taste it. Hmm. It doesn't taste like that bad, but it tastes like there's like, like herb or like some kind of grass in here, y'all. Almost done with it. 
Why am I blowing on it, bro? I'm already faded. I can't see any of the resin in there. Hmm. I'm just gonna try to swallow it. Um. I guess you can taste it like a little bit, but you can't, it's not like overwhelming. Um, it's like a seven out of 10, bro. Like it doesn't taste super bad. And it doesn't taste like really good neither. Like you can definitely still taste like herb or something. I'm gonna clock out right now and then I'll let y'all know in a little bit how it's doing. Cause you know, y'all know how when you eat edible, it doesn't hit right away. It takes some time probably like an hour or two hopefully not too long but yeah i'll come back right now in a bit nice little hand sandwich with hella mustard and mayo y'all something like also bro i forgot to tell y'all um right now it is like it's like five minutes after i took i basically ate it at 7 40 right now it's 7 50 i don't want to think like my mind is playing tricks on me but i feel like relaxed already bro bro so right now it's like been an hour and 30 minutes and i actually feel stoned bro like if you can look at me bro like my eyes they look like when it gets inflated right here y'all y'all can know i'm stoned it works y'all if you have a dirty cardo rig just take out that resin, put it in some peanut butter and jelly like I did, or put it like in like a cheesecake, mix it like with the frosting or something, and it won't be that bad. You'll get you'll get super stoned. You'll get pretty stoned. I'm pretty stoned, bro. Like really stoned. This is a way to make hella fire edibles. I was just paused for a fat minute. This shit gets me lit. Easy edibles if you have the things necessary. So, peace out, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Send this video to your boys, y'all. Maybe they want to make edibles or something. Boom. Here's your vid. Dude. So, it is the next day after I took that edible. And I want to tell y'all something. This method of making edibles like this, it's no joke, bro. So let me tell you what happened today. So I took the edible yesterday around six in the night, right? Seven in the night. And I woke up today for work at 8, 10 a.m. And I was still hella faded, dude, when I woke up in the morning. I was taking a shower and I was like, dude, am I just tired? Hopefully I'm just tired. But I was hella stoned, dude. Even when I went into work, like, I'm pretty sure I was stoned, like, probably like four hours like four to three hours into my shift i was stoned and then like the my entire shift it was eight hours so i was lit for like about four hours or three hours probably three hours and then the rest i was just slumped as hell bro but um i wouldn't recommend this to anyone unless you're gonna take it earlier so you can actually feel the effects but this shows y'all how strong these edibles get like this bro because how much hours is that look like six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six seven eight seventeen hours stoned i was dude that's crazy bro it's your guys's risk if you guys want to do this peace out youtube like comment subscribe all that laters though